All right, hey everybody. Uh, hope you're enjoying this weather if you live in New York State. Uh, crazy weather, 82 yesterday, 30s today with mixed rain and snow. It's always a joy on your first day off. <laughs> but anyway, I had to think at work last night, what would be a good topic for a video? And I thought, hmm, I was, gonna, I was listening to Paul McCartney. I'm like, well, what would be my top favorite albums of Paul McCartney and or Wings and uh, second one is you know your favorite song by Paul McCartney third one your first album that you bought in the store uh, day of the release date uh, and the fourth one the coolest Beatles record or CD anything Paul McCartney memorabilia I'll say that uh, that you've that you've collected that you think is your your favorite part in your Paul McCartney collection. Um, those are the four I want to go. Th you know, four I wanted to ask. Um, I'll go through mine. Uh, number one would be Flowers in the Dirt. Uh, I don't know. I just I love every song on this this album. Uh, it's great. It's, you know, My Brave Face is one of my favorites. Uh, but you just kind of. You know, in my opinion, you don't really hear much out of it. It's it was big for, for the time. It started a 1989 tour for him, but you just you just don't really hear much uh, out of that album. I mean, he doesn't really do any songs mm, while touring anymore. But I'm gonna have to say "Bay on the Run." I know everybody says "Bay on the Run," but I just love this. I I just love this album. I just Every single song is good. Now I also picked the 25th anniversary because this is my favorite uh, Paul McCartney, uh, you know, piece of memorabilia that I like the best. Uh, I always kind of heard that this was hard to find. It probably isn't on eBay, but I don't know how much it's going for eBay. But I saw the price tag on the sticker, and I only paid 25 for it, so I thought it was reasonable because cover's perfect, everything's included with it. Double LP set, poster. 180 gram vinyl. Um, do I like the original one better? Yeah, but this is pretty cool. It's gatefold. But this whole album is great. Every song uh, Band of Ron, Jet, Bluebird, Mrs. Vanderbilt, Let Me Roll It. I really like Let Me Roll It. It's a great song. Then uh, Moonia, No Words, uh, Hell on Wheels, which McCartney wanted it as a uh, for, for a single, but uh, they stuck it on here anyway. Which I noticed on the remaster, you kind of he ended up getting his way. I don't mean that in a bad way. He ended up getting his way because he stuck that on the second disc. I don't know if he did it, but it's stuck. It's on the, the second disc on the uh, new remaster edition, the two disker. Uh, I think there's yeah, there's two discs and a DVD in that set. The deluxe edition. This also comes with a couple of. Uh, well, I forgot to read the last couple. Picasso's last words. Drink to me. One of my favorites. Uh, 1985. Another great song. Uh, then you get some extra tracks like Band on the Run, Documentary, a whole bunch of different stuff on this album. I'd like to get the remaster on on vinyl too. All the remasters, but I just haven't done it yet because I, I got them. You know. Tug of War is another one of my favorites. Uh, I can listen to this the whole thing through. I enjoy it. I have it on this and CD. Uh, Tug of War is a great song. When I love that song. Take It Away. Somebody Who Cares. What's That You're Doing with uh, Stevie Wonder. Here Today. Uh, it's a song for John. Side 2 is Ballroom Dancing. I like that song. But I almost like the, the Give My Regards to Broad Street version better. I don't know why. Uh, the Pound is Sinking, which is, that's an okay song. Wanderlust, I almost like that better on the Give My Girls Broad Street album too, but uh, this is where it originated from. Uh, Get It, which is which is alright, and Be What You See, Dress Me Up as a Robber, and of course Ebony and Ivory is on here. Um, it's a great album.
And of course, I'd have to pick Ram. I can listen to Ram over and over and over again. I love the cover. Uh, this, I mean, Heart of the Country, Monkberry Moon Delights, kind of a weird song, but great vocals. Eat at Home, great song. Long Hair Lady, Ram I'm. Uh, Backseat of My Car, which is another great one. This is, this, there's like a lot of great songs on here. Um, read you the rest of them. Of course, Too Many People, Three Legs, Ram On, Dear Boy. Uh, of course, Uncle Albert and Admiral Housley's on here, Smile Away. Just, just a great album. I don't know, I heard at the time this album did not do well, but uh, I'll tell you what, I think it's, Fantastic album. Ample label. And, uh, I don't know if this is new, get it? <laughs> uh, still, but I'm still really enjoying his new album. Uh, this is, this is a great album. Uh, a lot of people didn't like Kisses on the Bottom, which was before this one. Maybe just because it was, uh, kind of like American Standards. But I, I really, uh, I really like that album. Um, but some people say this is like the best he's done in a while. Uh, I would agree with that. This is this is good stuff. I like every song on here. Uh, I mean, Hosanna is just kind of okay, but the, all the rest of the songs are great. So I like how if you get the vinyl, you get kind of a, the best of the both covers. You know, right on the back and the front. Uh, my f now I'm gonna get to my favorite uh, my favorite Beatles or jeez favorite Paul McCartney song would have to be Another Day uh, I really like that song it was kind of like it was my first Paul McCartney 45 I picked up and I, I really like that song a lot Another Day um, my first album I bought was Memory Almost Full. Uh, this was like, what, 2007, yep. We had, uh, just gotten one of my dogs, Lily, she was just a little puppy now, or then, sorry, and, uh, we went to Walmart because I, I wanted to go pick this up. And I remember, uh, you know, it was a nice summer night, it was, I had just, it was the summer right before freshman year in high school. And I remember, you know, it was a nice summer night and putting this in the CD player and just listening away. And this is, this is a good album. Uh, I wish I had it on vinyl, but I don't. That's why I have to show this because this is what I bought in the store was the deluxe version at Walmart. And uh, this is a great album. Dance Tonight, everybody. I mean, that was probably one of the bigger songs on here. Ever Present Past, another one of my favorites. See Your Sunshine, that's a great song. Only Mama Knows, really like the beginning, the intro to this, that song. You Tell Me, which is okay. Mr. Bellamy, a lot of people don't care for that song, but I, 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 I liked it. It, it was, it, it did have a little creepy feel to it, but Gratitude was good. Vintage Clothes, that was me. That was good. Feet in the Clouds, I really like that one. And House of Wax is that that's a that's a really good song too. It kind of has like a it's a little eerie, but a great song. The end of the end, which is a great song for like you know, just kind of you know if I die, you know things stay you know, I want it to stay positive. It, it's a pretty positive album. It, it's a it'll cheer you up, uh, especially with Dance Tonight and Ever Present Past. It's got that beat, you know. And Nod Your Head, it's probably, that's probably one of my, it's a rocker, but it's kind of like one of my least favorites on here. Uh, then this too, you kind of get the, pri the the bonus songs, In Private, Why So Blue, uh, 222, and then, you know, Paul, that's kind of like just a little interview, Paul talks about the music, memory almost full. For some reason, like, In Private, Why So Blue, 222. I just kind of like not, I don't know, there's not anything too special for me. But uh, the, the main album is great. The only thing when I bought it, it came 
like that ripped oh it always aggravated me when i first got it so it was kind of it was a good experience getting this album but for for cut for that oh, i kind of hate that but I, I really like how this this kind of opens up and you just kind of yeah see that's pretty cool spent all my allowance i saved up my allowance for this album <laughs> Great album. So, uh, please respond. Oh, and I forgot. I know, uh, where is it? I definitely know me, Mr. Mayo, is going to pick Press to Play. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had to pick on you. You know, this album would have been good if it was an extended play. <laughs> because there's probably like, maybe not even an extended play. There's only like two or three songs on here that I like. Um, yeah, it probably would have been better as an extended play. I really only like this with the cover and a few of the songs, but I had to pick because I know you, <laughs> I know you can't stand that album. <laughs> and one of your videos when you did the review, oh man, that was funny. But uh, I thought I'd just add that as a joke, all in fun. So uh, I'd like to hear what your guys' top five uh, Paul McCartney songs are, or albums are, and. Your favorite McCartney song, and the first album you ever bought in the store of a, on a release date, and the coolest Paul McCartney piece of memorabilia that you that you have that you think is uh, awesome. You know it's a great piece. Uh, so I can't wait to see what uh, other people think of. Uh, my favorite top five and I definitely can't wait to see yours so everybody out there take it easy try to stay warm I know it was weird 82 now snow what the heck <laughs>